Welcome back to our sports video online course. In this video, we're talking about sports analytics and really the value of recording video and using it from a coaching perspective. How can all of this video make our players have better insights into their game? How can we create and use statistics that we can find in video as data to make our teams more competitive? Let's jump into it. So sports analytics is what I'm talking about this. How can we use the video data to power modern sports performance? And we're going to use advanced sports production technology. You know, we're going to use multiple cameras. We're going to use recording technology. But we're going to look at multiple different varieties. And one of them being right here, which is sideline instant replay. Okay, so this is an iPad here that allows us to literally put the video in the coach's hands. So real time, he can see, he or she, right, can see the data that is coming, right? They can see what's happening. And uh, I'm going to show an example of that in a second. And then taking that data and that those video recordings and showing real dashboards, right, with KPIs. What's the line effectiveness? What is the percentage of our possessions. How many shots did we take? How many, you know, how many goals did we have? And really breaking all that down is super powerful. I call this level two, taking the data and turning it into insights. And I'm going to show you some examples of this uh, in a moment here. But when we think about level two, now we're not just we're not just recording video on a phone, right? We're pumping video to a sideline instant replay system, right? We are recording video. We might even be recording what we call ISO recordings, right? Where we're recording each camera individually. So coaches can look at all of this individually. And there, therefore, we can get it to a wireless tablet in the hands of a coach. And actual athletes can use their smartphones and their computers on the sports analytics platform to really tie all this together. Let me show you this on my iPad here. Um, this is called Sky Coach. And you can see here, I could have had three cameras. I only brought one in for this recording. But you can see here how I can literally just click a button, scrub through, pause with a pinch, zoom in, show specific plays. And this can be put in the hands of a coach, right? So a coach can just really easily start scrubbing through video, finding the clips they want to review with the players. And this is all recorded on an iPad. So the coach can review this on the you know bus ride home. They can look at this and get real intelligence there and multi-angle intelligence. So this is the type of stuff we're talking about in level two. Now, what's critical for analytics is to decide, you know, what type of stats are we going to be looking at, right? And a lot of times that can be integrated with scorekeeping, which you'll see in a moment here. I'm going to show you how to break down a game. Uh, it's going to be a hockey game that I recorded, and we're going to look at how to tag that video and then create a timeline of events and a dashboard and integrate all that with the scorekeeping. So it's up to you to decide whether you're looking at individual player movements, are you looking at formations, and you know what are the KPIs that you're looking for? How is your team going to use the analytics? You can manually tag video right? Tag all the goals, the fouls, and the key plays using the video as reference. You can use AI to detect actions and positions. You know, AI is becoming more popular. Sometimes AI can, you know, not be 100% accurate. So keep that in mind and think about accuracy when you're relying on a computer to do all of that. Um, but you can also hire services. So let me show you an example of manual tagging so we can start kind of at the basics and the thing I like about manual tagging and, and Knack Sport specifically is the one-time purchase. So you purchase this, you can use it forever, um, but you've got to have someone who knows what they're doing. So let's take a look at Knack Sport as an example of how to do manual tagging and how sports analytics can work based on a recorded game. So to give you an example of how sports analytics works, I want to show Knack Sport. This is a really good example of a analytics platform that will create intelligence for your team based on video. Looking at here is obviously the live video in the top left. This is actually a recording. 
Uh, as we talked about, you can bring in live video to do your tagging and do it in real time. You can use recorded video and do it post-game, which is more realistic sometimes. Um, and you have those choices. Uh, in the live video here, that's kind of like your reference point, right? So you can pause, go faster. You can play back a game in 2x and 3x speed. And so that allows you to kind of scrub through, find the scores, find the shots more easily, and save some time. Now, every sport is looking at something different, right? And so this right here is called a tagging window. And what we're doing here is tagging the video for different categories and descriptors that we can use to build out our analytics. Now we're looking at hockey, but just imagine this could be any sport. And what you can do is essentially say, okay, you know, in hockey, we have things like a turnover. We can talk about whether it's one or not. We can say whether or not it was a five by five or was it a power play? Was it a goal? Was it saved? And even down to which player did that. Now, as we're making those tags, right, tagging the video, what happens is, is it builds out a timeline. And the timeline is basically sortable. So right now, we are looking at the play-by-play -play table. And Naxport does a really good job of showing kind of tutorials that you can look at. Uh, to learn more about this. But essentially what happens is if I go in here, I'm going to go a little further in my timeline, and I'm going to say there was a, a shot. You can see here there was a chance for a goal. And we'll say it was saved, and player four was involved. It was a four on five, and it was in period three. So you can see how that's building out my timeline. So this is really powerful. When we get capture and tag all of the data, we can then start to display it on a dashboard, and we can take that data and put it into our PowerPoint presentations and show it to the team. Now, another really cool thing that I know a lot of coaches are excited about doing is working with graphical descriptors. And what this is, is you can actually plot out where things are happening. So we could say, okay, there was a sh every shot, we want to know where are the shots. Because over time, as we're watching our video and we're plotting where all the shots are, we can start to create heat maps of all of this. So now we can, what we can do is we can just go ahead and create a dashboard for our analysis. And this is a dashboard. I'll pull this up a little bit here. And dashboards will then allow us to start to look at the different data sources that we've created. Uh, so we can go in here and we can start to look at heat maps based on the input that we've given. So that just, this is Nextboard is just one example of sports video analytics. It's one of my favorites for a lot of reasons. They've got a lot of great templates. And this is what you do as an analyst, right? You analyze the game, you figure out what you're looking for as a team, you tag it, and then you build a dashboard to look at as a team. So just to overview this one last time here, we have the tagging area, right? This is an important area where you can learn, how, you know, kind of really put all the data in. We've got the recorded video over here, right, in this right-hand side. And then we also have our timeline. It's going to keep everything together. And all of that is used to create a dashboard and all the analytics that we'll learn about. Okay, so let's talk about some real world um, applications here. Basketball, you can analyze defensive setups and offensive plays in soccer. You can track player positions and movements in tennis and golf, right? We can look at some of these techniques and replay them and, and really break it all down. You can play all this back in slow motion. You can take snapshots to you know, build all of this into presentations that you're going to show. Now, one of the things I wanted to mention is that, you know, if you have camera operators who are operating PTZ cameras, you can tell them what to look for, right? You can tell one of them to have the wide shot so you can see everything. You can have another one looking at, you know, a specific player or a specific athlete you're working with or a specific goal. So work with the camera operators and potentially put these guys to work, right? Like this, uh, this 
person I was working with here, his name's uh, Sean. He was our our commentator. I asked him to tag all the goals, right? I was like, tag those goals while you're up there, right? You're you're the commentator. And so we did some live tagging of the video. So, you know, these people want to help. And I, and I wanted to mention kind of a cool use case in football that I'm working on. Just to give you an example, uh, there's four cameras, okay? There's four camera operators. They, they literally want to have one for offense, one for defense, one for wide, one for a tight on the quarterback. And each of these joysticks, these PTZ Optics Super Joys, feed an HDMI into the SkyCoach system, which then allows the coaches to decide which angle they want to see at any time. So really cool stuff that's possible. And you can use wireless video distribution to do that, right? So you can have Wi-Fi beaming from the press box or from the video setup over across the field or the court or the ice hockey rink to the other side so that you can get that real-time video setup and control. And then we talked about that real-time tagging. So in that other video that you saw here, uh, right below him, right, he's got access to an iPad that he can use for tagging the goals. And that just makes it easier when it comes time to filtering the data, right? If you just want to see everything, you're sitting down with the goalie, you just want to see the saves, right? Uh, you can do all of that. And this is the iPad here that we were using to do that sideline instant replay tagging. Another thing to think about when we're doing all of this is the PTZ camera presets. We looked at this last time, but just thinking about that, setting up, you know, sports move quickly. So moving the camera to where you need it to go at any time is super important. And then having those scoreboards, right? And those instant replays are still valuable. You're doing it for the recording. Maybe you're doing it for the live stream. It actually is helpful. I've talked to a lot of coaches about this to have at least one of the video feeds to have that scoreboard so that they know what the current score is, how much time is left in the period. Uh, as a reference, even though we're using it for coaching and sideline instant replay. So one of the things to think about is what camera angles do you need? You know, the very first one on the list is oftentimes a tactical camera, right? So this is the super wide angle. We talked about this in our last um, session, but this, this tactical camera, super important, right? Sideline cameras, also very important, getting that lateral angle. Um, behind the net, we looked at a couple different examples of behind the net. That works better in some, some scenarios than others, um, but you can see here that behind the net really in hockey and also um, end zone cameras, right, for football. It really, really looks good to capture the players running forward um, and gives you, you know, a good look. You know, they're, they're, you can never have enough angles, honestly. It's really just kind of what, what you can do with it. Another thing to think about, okay, is the commentators. Um, having the commentator audio is super easy. This is a level two kind of upgrade from level one where we're actually giving commentators the ability to add audio with a headset and a microphone. Again, you saw this with some of the commentators we were working with. Very easy to do. Headsets are not too expensive. You plug it into a little USB audio device and you plug the USB into your streaming system. Now, in some cases, just before we end this video, there can be a little controller for the commentator. One of the biggest tips I have for you guys, put that commentator to work. Uh, there's a case study that we show with Silesian uh, High School and their football team. They give the commentators a printout of the roster. And basically, all they have to do is click a button on an X keys controller for the player's number. And that triggers a graphic to come up with that player's name that picture of that player when available. And it really makes the commentator a, the ability, gives them the ability to contribute to the production. So that's just a couple of the tips I have for you when we're unlocking the power of sports video and analytics. All right, we'll see you in the next video where we jump up to level three and start to really dig into video production and how you can grow your sports video program. I'll see you in the next video.